Our federal political parties in the country have pledged to support government in the fight against the novel coronavirus outbreak. At a meeting with President Akufuadu at the Jubilee House in Accra, representatives of the party lauded the president for his timely decisions so far in dealing with the pandemic. The meeting was to seek their views and suggestions in the fight against the deadly coronavirus. The disease doesn't have a political color. It doesn't know Democrats or Republicans or Tories or Labour or NDC or NDP. It's attacking human beings. I think that that recognition is what should drive our collective response as a people to this pandemic. Most of the speakers lauded President Ikufuado for the manner he has handled decisions in the fight against the pandemic and pledged their support. Of course, I'm a convert, 100% behind you. Me and the General Secretary and the leadership of our party have had the privilege of being with you. And we know so far, the fight against it has been exemplary. We have only one country, and let's together be behind our president and his government. First of all, I want to thank you very much also for the decisiveness with which you have moved. As a doctor, I can say that the idea of the COVID management team that you have put out there is a very brilliant one. But what I would say is that the logistics to enable them to perform seems to be lacking. In my own district, Ghana East, uh, we know that we don't have those uh, PPEs uh, but we are told they are coming. We've, not, we've all not been there, so this is not the time to compete. I would like to say to us that let's make an effort at taking off our competitive blinders and put on our compassionate lenses. I'm making a passionate appeal to His Excellency the President and to commend you for the amnesty you granted prisoners recently. Your Excellency, I'm asking for another amnesty from you. A number of radio stations have been closed down. And in our effort to ensure that we reach out to the majority of our countrymen and women, I'm appealing to Your Excellency to grant amnesty and get these radio stations that have been closed down to use their systems, their frequencies, and activate their latent, uh, you know, Frequencies and others who are not being, which are not being used to reach out to the people and to reach out to them in various languages so that we'll be able to reach out to every nook and cranny of this country. I think that the, the uh, opportunities, the law is very clear as to how these radio stations, once they have been closed down or whatever it is, they were not closed down by me. That's the first thing. So it's difficult for me to be the one to unlock them. But the procedures are there. I'm surprised that a year or so later, the, that those procedures are not being used to be able to get the radio stations back on track. I, I don't really think that there's any big, um, the big uh, secret about, about them. The law is very clear. You make the application back to the National uh, Communications Authority and go through the various procedures. And you don't have to wait for a president for that to happen. 